Let's start with what a request is. It's actually pretty useful to imagine the internet as a bunch of people who are just simply sending messages back and forth. For this example, I'll be the client, which means that I'm actually a browser like Chrome or Firefox. Jessica represents the internet. She is the middleman and will be passing information back and forth. And Ben here is the server, which means that he's a computer dedicated to providing content to browsers like me. If I want something from Ben, I'll send a GET request to him. A GET request is a message that tells him who I am and what I want. So, got my message. Jessica takes it and passes it to Ben. Ben, the server, looks at my message and then sends back what I requested. This is called a response. I can open the response and then do something with it. In order for a website to open, it performs many requests for data, like Ben and I are doing right now. Most of the time, the response is critical for the page to load. For instance, I must have Ben's HTML to load the page and the CSS to lay it out. Thank you very much. When your browser makes a request synchronously or without AJAX, it has to wait for responses before proceeding with the load. AJAX is special because it allows these types of requests asynchronously, which means that they can happen in the background without blocking the rest of the page load. Let's take this analogy just a little bit further. Let's imagine I send off a GET request to Ben, but I've got some plans in mind for what I want to do with it when the response gets back. So when I send off the request, I will take the instructions and set them aside for myself. And they'll patiently wait right here, and now I'm free to go off and work on other tasks. When Ben's response eventually gets back, I'll open up the response, take a look at my instructions, and then do something with them. These instructions that I set aside are called a callback in that I call them when I get a response back.